No, don't be silly. Of course I didn't waste my money. It's an amazing radio. This is just amazing. You can see the whole band. Look, all this different activity coming up. You know, try and find a handband that's like that locally. I'm not talking about propagation, but another station there. Someone doing a bit of DXing. See him fading a little bit. So I've listened to that. Is it like no noise at all? He does sound a little bit weird because I've, I've basically turned off, um, turned the RF game right down and turned noise reduction on. And look, full volume on the radio. There's no noise. It basically completely eliminates all of that background noise. Whether you like that or not is another thing, but I, I find it quite interesting because it sounds like they're kind of at the bottom of a tunnel. But I have done this before and stations have been so far away that I just, you know, couldn't work them otherwise. Um, just, you know, the usual trick of just backing off the RF gain. But of course, with this radio, you've got this noise reduction, which just takes away. So you started to fade a little bit, a bit of, um, a bit of QSB there. So we turn the noise reduction off. <laughs> you could use a bit of EQ to just, you know, get that to sound a little bit better. It's quite bassy, that station, but how cool is that? Strong station there. So you can basically just touch. He sounds quite local. So I'm doing all this, and literally I'm using a bit of wire for an antenna. Well, I tell, tell a lie, it's, it's actually a dipole, a diddly dipole. Um, it's two bits of wire. It's basically the simplest sort of antenna you can make. And I've got it strung up outside. It's not in a particularly great place, but I'm working like 60 kilometers distance, you know, locally. I'm doing that absolutely fine. I'm doing DX. The band's really busy. I'm having a right blast. So this is a situation. One bit goes down to the fence. The other bit goes up to the, to the top of the, uh, where the gutter is. Bit of coax in the middle. You can buy that off of eBay. It just works an absolute treat. So if you're struggling for an antenna for CB, I'd definitely consider a dipole because they're not that big at the CB frequencies and it's going to work way better than any mag mount on a biscuit tin or anything else that you can think of like using a mobile antenna uh, in, a, in a home base setup. It's not always ideal because you haven't got a ground plane. Dipole is just standalone. It's just one wire up, one wire down. As long as you get it in a good place, it should work. I've also got this massive pole here um, which I can stick the dipole on the top of that. Just take one into the top on the insulator and, and tape it a bit further down. This goes up about 33 feet, this pole. And um, yeah, I've done Ireland, contacted Ireland and all sorts on just on that, just down in the garden on that pole. My little 705 has been demoted a bit. Now this radio is really great. Like the receiver is amazing. You know, as I've said before, it really is a great bit of kit, but there are some issues. I've had some issues so far. Um, I'm not gonna lie, ham it up and say, you know, it's just everything's amazing about it. First thing I struggled with was SD cards. It won't take anything higher than a 32 gig. It does say that in a manual. Well, it kind of says that in a manual in a roundabout way. It says, you know, um, we've tested 32 gig cards. In this day and age, that's a bit stupid. I know it doesn't use much memory to record voice because you can record voice on here and um, record activity. That's really handy. It sort of timestamps frequencies and stuff on the actual on the screen so you can see um, you know where you've what you've recorded. And you know because of the way it compresses it, you're going to get hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of um, record time. Second problem I've had: you can plug a keyboard and mouse into this this thing. Um, I've tried this keyboard. The keyboard works, but this has got a built-in trackpad. Doesn't work. So I went and grabbed this PC mouse, plugged it in, didn't work. See, look, there's the mouse pointer. I mean, what the hell is that all about? It's not because it's on a reflective surface. You can do it on any surface. It does exactly the same thing. Looking into it a bit more, there are certain mice that work. And um, I didn't obviously read anything. <laughs> As usual, just went and ordered a mouse expecting it to work. I mean, it's pretty bad, really. It's obviously running on some sort of like Linux or some sort of custom operating system. And to not accept all just general HID you know, generic mice and keyboards is, is pretty poor. Also, some of you guys have mentioned about the DVI socket on the back. The reason they couldn't put a HMI one, HDMI one, is because of licensing. I totally understand that, actually, um, having been into sort of embedded computers uh, and run a business around it as well. But I did try a DVI to HDMI adapter onto one of my little 4K monitors that I've got, um, but that didn't work. 
surprise, surprise. So, you know, I'm going to try a proper DVI monitor. There are reports as well that if you do use a DVI to HDMI um, converter, it can knacker the video card in the, in the radio, which just really ain't good. But when you make a bit of kit like this that is running on software, it is really important to do that as a company because otherwise you're going to upset a lot of people. All in all, it's still an amazing radio. I mean, for my kind of like little kind of ad hoc portable setup that I'm using here, um, you know, with the dipole just strung out the window, if I can hear it, mostly I can work it on this radio. It is pretty amazing. And obviously, you know, I can go on all the other bands and play with it, play with that. But at the moment, I'm just loving 27. There's loads of activity on here. If you put a call out, the chances are you're going to get a response if you've got, you know, a good antenna system most of the time. If you can hear it, you can kind of work it. That's what I'm enjoying. And there's stuff happening on here that isn't happening on the handbands. And that's what I'm talking about, the local kind of contacts. So local contacts, people starting nets and just doing, you know, like on a Sunday afternoon, you've got the south southeast net. Um, I checked into that. Very, very bad working conditions here. It was like loads and loads of noise came up, but I still managed to get across and get a message across um, just getting the log on that net. Um, and that's down to filters, the filtering on here, um, also the noise reduction, of course, which I showed you earlier. It's mind-blowing what modern DSP and SDR is capable of. You can just dig out those tiny signals that just don't even look like they're there. You can't even see them on the waterfall most of the time, but you know they're there, and that is, that's what radio is about to me. It's just a challenge, really, isn't it? I mean, anyone can go and get a massive power amplifier and stick a big vertical on the side of the house, and that might not always work, you know? There's sometimes where you're just not in the right place, it's too much noise, everything else. But if you like fiddling around with bits of wire at the weekend and tinkering with stuff, you know, this could be quite a good little hobby for you. Um, I'm gonna do some more videos about, you know, how to get into this a bit more, um, you know, the entry sort of level sort of stuff. Because when I try and tell mates that aren't into this stuff, they always look at me a bit weird and I feel a little bit kind of like, you know, this is it's a bit of a weird hobby and it's kind of got that stigma attached to it. But it really shouldn't have, especially in this day and age. I mean, what happened the other day? Facebook, Instagram, all that rubbish went down. And, you know, it's not going to be long, guys, before the whole thing comes crashing down <laughs> and everybody's going to be back on the radio. I reckon that's becoming increasingly likely. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this one. I'll catch you in the next one.